Uh, I would like to thank here both uh, Dr. Shai Hartsvi, head of our research department in the ministry, and Yaakov Dalal for having this notion, new notion, that we see a convergence between the old and the new, the classic and the modern, uh, in, in terms of uh, the uh, uh, test case or the case study of COVID-19. And we should uh, ask ourselves, not only as monitoring, not only as reporting, not only as investigating this, uh, how do we react to this uh, uh, new, I would say, uh, uh, phenomena, new uh, uh, status? In terms of, uh, and you would see uh, the screen is, uh, um, you have two uh, sides of the screen. From left, you would have classic anti-Semitism. From, from the right, you would have uh, modern uh, anti-Semitism, delegitimization. And I will be very briefly in a minute, just share with you a few of the thoughts that we have been uh, uh, developing in the ministry regarding a uh, few elements of this uh, um, phenomena of COVID-19, the coronavirus. Now, in terms of actors, and Dan, you have been very articulate about this uh, a minute ago, uh, we see the far right, and on the other hand, we see the BDS movement continuing, we see Turkey, we see Iran as state actors, and we see the PA and Hamas, we'll see in a minute examples. If you need examples of, of how they delegitimize uh, the Jewish state, uh, we could uh, uh, speak about the motive, uh, and the motive is all about, it's basically the same motive, but just two different, uh, I would say, um, uh, targets. The first one is all about Jews, and the second one is all about Israel as uh, using the virus or uh, described as uh, uh, interested in the spread of the virus. And if we, you need examples, you would see uh, the classic one uh, just uh, two weeks ago, a week ago in Germany, uh, it's in German, it's be careful, Corona infected with the Star of David, the yellow one. Uh, I don't think I have to explain more than that. And if we speak about the modern one, uh, you would see how the Israelis are uh, working with the virus to control Palestinians. And if we have to think about what is the uh, blood libel that we're using in terms of from classic to modern, uh, so you have the all about controlling. It's again about Jews and Israel. On one end, Jews controlling uh, the world and making a profit out of the coronavirus spread. And on the other hand, you would see Israel controlling the Palestinians using the coronavirus. And if you need examples, you would see from left, the former economic minister, the French economic minister, uh, a Jewish person uh, versus uh, Israel and the IDF. Uh, this is coming from BDS organization and BDS outlet, uh, Mundo Vice and Latouf, uh, uh, one of the uh, animators uh, associated with the BDS movement, all about Gaza and the quarantine in Gaza and Israel is using the COVID-19 in order to uh, uh, control Palestinians. Um, how about the threat to violence when it will start moving from the social media sphere into the physical sphere? We have to be uh, thinking about it in terms of uh, uh, both what is happening in uh, different areas of the world. This is taken from uh, uh, the US on the left side of the screen. And of course, Hamas, uh, not by chance or just uh, 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 wasn't merely just in co a co coincidence using the 6 million uh, number uh, as he was uh, the Hamas leaders uh, threatening Israel. Uh, and in terms of, you know, uh, uh, violence, we have to, I would hope we could speak about this because this could lead to an eruption of violent attacks against Jews. Uh, and we have to think about it as a, as a community. And just before ending and sharing a few thoughts about the discussion, I would like to share with you that the ministry has been using all of its uh, digital outlets, uh, mainly for IL. Uh, in order to fight from fake news to delegitimization to uh, conspiracies to, of course, anti-Semitic uh, uh, remarks. Uh, we invite you to join this campaign, this digital. It's very successful. More than a million people have been exposed to these uh, messages. Uh, it's a tough job, and we're aiming it mainly to uh, 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 teenagers because we understand that education is a as uh, um, what we have to do in this very specific times. 
and the ending note, uh, um, and here I would conclude, we have to speak about monitoring, about reporting online abuse, as we understand that the world could be continuing for long weeks, this quarantine and the social media uh, uh, sphere is now the outlet of, uh, uh, Dan, as you have uh, uh, called it, uh, Israelophobia. And I think it's a good opportunity to uh, uh, have a glance or a, an outlook at the recommendations coming from the UN Special Rapporteur, uh, Ahmed Shahid, about the increased security uh, Jewish institution, advanced hate speech legislation, and adopt the IRA definition. So in this concluding, I would like to thank the organizers and uh, extend my gratitude to all of the uh, uh, attendances here on this uh, roundtable. Thank you.